Welcome back. We're continuing our uh, tutorial on failure modes and effects analysis. Wanted to make one last point um, in this slide, which is where we ended the first session. SCORE stands, uh, represents supply chain operations reference model and, um, and essentially looking at um, a point of view or a framework. Now, the, the main um, point to remember really is the nature of or the elements of it, plan, source, make, deliver, return. Um, that's what I'll, I would want you to remember. So um, let's look at a, a sample. This is a, uh, from a template by uh, uh, ASQ, American Society for Quality, and uh, just shows what a failure modes and effects analysis uh, diagram looks like or, or table. You have processes, and then within the processes, you have different ways that the process could fail. So here's drilling a blind hole. Uh, a blind hole, you're drilling into a material, but not intending to drill all the way through. Um, failure mode is hole too deep, and the effect of the hole too deep could be break through the bottom of the plate. Might not be, but it could be. Um, and then you could have the hole's not deep enough, and if it's not deep enough, you may not be may not have enough depth to where you can um, um, get a sufficient number of, of threads um, uh, formed, and um, when you when you're tapping it. So uh, and then there's there's different um, causes of of that hole not deep enough. Uh, along with the um, uh, failure modes, we say how how, how bad is that failure uh, that particular effect. So we look at severity. Uh, it's ranked on a, a one to ten scale, uh, or ten is 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 worst, uh, the worst uh, failure you could have, or worst effect that you could have. Um, that's gonna depend upon the application of what you rank um, as a ten. So a ten could be uh, you know kill somebody or uh, cause bodily harm or put the company in danger of bankruptcy could be a 10. Uh, but it, it could be something uh, far less than that. That's, that's user defined. And then uh, occurrence is a likelihood of occurrence. Again, if it's more likely to occur, we put a, we put a larger number. Uh, less likely, we put a smaller number. And then finally, detection. And this is how likely we are to find the error. And in this case, um, a, a small number means that we're more likely to detect and a larger number means we're not likely to detect it and so the the consequences of not detecting an error and and therefore you know building up a um, an inventory of defective materials or or um uh, you know failing in a service on a large scale uh, are more likely to happen if we don't detect it we take the the um well, let me go back to here we take the the product of these three you know, 7 times 3 is 21, times 3 is 63, and we create a risk priority number. That's the RPN, risk priority number. And, and we want to deal with the most, um, the highest risk items first, uh, or uh, processes or uh, um, failure modes. And I, it's not required, and not everyone does this, but I recommend that, that, you, that you stop at this point and, and sort in uh, decreasing risk priority number. That way um, you, you have your most important issues listed first, which is, you know, for presenting to management, that's, that's just the way you present. Um, and then uh, finally, we, we essentially recreate uh, those early steps with some actions to mitigate the particular effects that we're looking uh, at or particular failure modes. And um, I'm not going to ask you to do this for the um, uh, T-shirt uh, example. So you can just leave this whole section blank. I would like to see you take a shot at it when you're doing your own application. I would like uh, to see, and I know you may have to assume something, and you may not know names. Um, you could just put uh, functions instead of person's names if you wanted to. And um, I, you don't have to really complete the whole thing. I really want a, an action, and the most important parts of the action, and then um, the severity, occurrence, and detectability calculated in a new risk priority number. Um, how do I how do I know those 
those numbers for severity. In in the examples, I just want you to, you know, consider that you've got a one to ten scale, and ten is ten is bad, and one is good. And so, um, just just take a shot. So finally, um, some considerations when you are creating favorite modes effects analysis for a T-shirt. Um, you could go back to your flow chart and your cause and effect diagram and consider not only failure within the processes, but failure when there's handoffs from one process to another. Um, did want to point out, um, who, does, who does Shanghai Knitwear buy cotton from? They don't buy cotton from uh, Wrench Farm. They buy cotton from a cooperative, which if you know anything about farming, you understand that. If you don't know anything about farming, read it in the book. The book explains this as well. Um, uh, this allow this simplifies the marketing for the farmers and it simplifies the purchasing for the the buyers um, and so that's a comp that's a common way um, to uh, handle commodity items uh, in in any um, any commodity items so, uh, look at the usual suspects uh, quality uh, time or delivery and cost and if you just think about I'll give you a hint you just think about a sewn t-shirt that is screen printed you can probably think of at least two quality considerations um, if you look at the flow chart there's probably all kinds of uh, areas where you could think of this this could cause me to be late so that, that would be pretty simple and then cost failure modes and I would consider the ranch farm or the, the cotton farmers in general um, as an issue. There was a pretty extensive discussion about what could go wrong on the farm uh, and cause crop failure. That's most likely, if that were to happen in a wide area, like you know, West Texas, then most likely that doesn't deprive the t-shirt industry of cotton. They'll get cotton from somewhere, but they're going to have to pay more for it. So it's really more of a cost failure when you have a um, sort of a breakdown in the farm. Um, so you could you could look at that. So those are some considerations. I hope this helps. Uh, if you have further questions, let me know. Thank you.